Dolphins go on the clock. NFL draft gets underway this Thursday in Nashville. What are the Dolphins going to do with that 13th pick? A lot of questions there. Clay Ferro starts off our coverage with the pick possibilities. Wide open anything. That's pretty much the answer you'd get from any GM leading up to the draft. And Chris Greer isn't about to give away the Dolphins' plans. But Greer did give us a few interesting clues, and we'll try to do our own guesswork. We'll start with the quarterback. And even though the Finns are being linked more with potential 2020 QBs, they have done a ton of homework on this year's class, too. Players like Kyler Murray, Dwayne Haskins, and Daniel Jones. So could there be a franchise player in this class? Uh... Uh, there could be. That doesn't exactly inspire a lot of enthusiasm about this year's class, although anything could be a smokescreen at this point. Perhaps more appealing to the Finns would be to attack the lines. They didn't draft a single lineman last year, and this is one of the best drafts in years when it comes to elite defensive linemen, and Greer even put a number on it. Five. I'd say there's five really good players that you feel really good about. Then there's, after that, I mean elite, but then there's a lot of good players too. So who are the likely five? NFL.com ranks the top five players overall as former St. Thomas Aquinas star Nick Bosa, Alabama's Quinn and Williams, Josh Allen of Kentucky, Houston's Ed Oliver, and Montez Sweat of Mississippi State. And yes, all of them are defensive linemen. If the Finns stay put at 13 and one of those D linemen is there, it's hard to imagine Miami passing on it. The Finns could also address the offensive line, and Greer told us a story about a visit he had with one prospect. I was telling him, I watched you against this top 10 team, and uh, you dominated. You played great. Then I watched you against Appalachian State blocking a guy like me, and the guy was running around you, and he's like, yeah, he goes, I get up for the big games. and. He's like, he goes, I got to be better focused. So we'll speculate. Gators tackle Jawan Taylor checks all those boxes. Greer obviously didn't say they'd take Taylor, but the Finns have a clear need at the position. Greer also discussed who has the authority in the draft room. And even though he says he makes the final decision, it's still a collaborative effort. I'm not going to force a coach to take a player because that doesn't work. <laughs> you know, if the coach doesn't want a player and I say, no, we're taking them and then works out one way or the other good, but if it doesn't, it just creates that animosity and then the distrust. So there you have it. Greer makes the final decision unless somebody else does. There may be a franchise quarterback in this draft, but there may not be, and they're almost certainly going to take alignment, unless they don't, like last year. Absolutely nothing given away. <laughs> just like every GM likes it.